The Mark 1 BMW 1 Series was a very, very popular and well-selling vehicle for BMW. However, it did have a couple of flaws. Yes, it was rear-wheel drive and the only rear-wheel drive within the kind of premium family hatchback segment, but it wasn't actually that amazing to drive. It also lacked a little in terms of interior space and practicality. So with this, the Mark II second generation BMW 1 Series that was available from 2011, 2019, BMW looked to improve upon those areas. Were they successful? Well, let's find out in this need to know review. The launch of the first generation BMW 1 Series in 2004 was a pivotal moment for BMW, marking their entry into the compact hatchback market with a bespoke model. The 1 Series offered buyers a unique proposition that wasn't typical within the segment, a rear wheel drive layout and premium feel. While the driving experience didn't quite live up to expectations, the 1 Series was still a more engaging drive than could typically be expected in a compact hatchback. Introduced in 2011 and sold in the UK until 2019, this second generation BMW 1 Series saw a significant improvements that enhanced its appeal. The design was refined with a modern look that included updated headlights and a sleeker body shape. While inside, the cabin quality was upgraded with higher quality materials and improved ergonomics, providing a more comfortable and premium feel all round. In terms of trim levels, used car buyers can choose from SE, Sport and top of the range M Sport trim. The SE trim offers a solid base with essential features like air conditioning, Bluetooth connectivity and a multi-function steering wheel, but not a lot more. The Sport trim adds sporty touches, some unsurprisingly, with larger alloy wheels and sport seats and M Sport trim at the top of the range takes this one step further with even bigger alloy wheels firmer lowered M Sport suspension and some styling touches to the exterior. If you've been in any other BMW then the layout of the interior should feel very familiar to you which I think is a positive sign for the 1 Series. It feels just like a 3 Series or a 5 Series. The layout is very similar, it's a good mixture of digital screens that are very clear and buttons that are much easier to use for example when changing the temperature you're not having to delve into a menu for simple functions like that i like the overall ethos that bmw brings to interiors which is one of quality there's lots of soft touch materials around the place that you're going to touch it's also very very solid and it just makes sense and the iDrive system for the infotainment is one of the best in the business all of which makes the elephant in the room really stand out and that is the steering wheel the steering wheel just doesn't seem to fit with the rest of in the interior, but that is a minor quibble. In terms of practicality, you've got a couple of cup holders down the front here. You can hide them away. You've also got space for a bottle in the um, door pocket. The door pockets aren't lined though, so if you're putting items in there, they may rattle around and make a bit of a noise. So the interior of this car has really stood up well to the test of time. This car is six years old and there's no scuffs, there's no scrapes anywhere to be found. And part of that I think is gonna be down to the quality of the materials, but it's also probably down to the usage. Maybe this car hasn't been used for heavy family use. So it's always worth checking when going for a test drive and going to view a vehicle, just have a look around the cabin and make sure that everything works as it should do. The um, glove box opens and closes properly, for example, all the knobs work and that there's no major scuff started around the interior. In terms of rear space in the 1 Series, it's actually not too bad. Now, I have had to really move the seat from my driving position. So as I always say, I'm quite tall, I'm just under 6'2", so I have to have the seat really quite far back. And in my position, you would not get anybody behind me. If you had a driver of slightly more average height, I think there would be just about enough room for my knees. I think I've got this forwards a little bit too much, but it's just so I can get in the back. There's Definitely room for my feet. And what I will say is there's plenty of headroom, actually. The headroom's quite surprising. I wasn't expecting to have this much room. Now, the door openings are a little, not strange, but they're an odd shape. You'll notice that they're quite narrow at the bottom, and that can make getting in and out a little bit difficult, but they're very wide at the top. So if you've got children and you're putting them into a car seat, actually that wide opening at the top is quite helpful. Talking of child seats, we obviously have Isofix on both of these rear seats. They are ordinarily 
covered by plastic covers. We don't have them in place at the moment. Probably been lost, generally what happens with those kind of things. There aren't any climate controls in the back of this particular vehicle, and there isn't any connectivity options either if you wanted to charge devices via a USB port, but there is a 12 volt socket, so you can charge that way. All in all, I'd say the back is relatively spartan, but it is comfortable and surprisingly roomy if the driver in front isn't too tall. When it comes to boot space, well, the One Series has 360 litres worth of capacity. That puts it slightly above the Mercedes A-Class, but slightly below the Audi A3. In terms of the space itself, it's a very square, usable space. There's a bit of a load lip, so that will make getting some heavier items in and out a bit more difficult. But it's just a very kind of straightforward boot. There's not a lot going on in terms of features. There's no dividers. You don't have any 12 volt sockets back here. There are a couple of lashing points though, and some netting on the side here to, to store your first aid kit, etc. You can extend the boot space by lowering the rear seats there on a 60-40 split. And you do that just by these handles right here. And you get a nice big flat loading space. When you hop into the One Series and start driving, there are two things that you notice immediately. One good and one not so good. So let's start with the not so good, which is this steering wheel. It, this steering wheel is just, it's huge. Um, it's huge. It just feels far too big for the car. And it also feels like someone has taken it out of an early 2000s three series that's the only way i can describe it it just this just it just feels like it's the wrong steering wheel for the car it's not but that's just this is how it feels it's very strange uh, but the steering wheel aside the rest of the car feels just super solid now if you've seen our audi q7 review we recently did a used car review on an audi q7 um, you will notice that i mentioned that that car felt like it was hewn out of granite and this feels arguably even more solid when you do the old center console wobble test my god this thing is just so solid um, and yeah the cabin in general just feels really really well put together it's um yeah it's just super solid and germanic so if you're into that kind of thing you will not be disappointed it feels very very bmw uh, I drove a 5 Series Touring for a number of years and it just feels like a shrunk down version. You, you, you're not, you know, when you opt for a car like this over, say, a Golf, it's because you want a BMW, it's because you want the rear wheel drive, because you want the BMW feel, and you definitely get that in the 1 Series. I will say you definitely, definitely get that. It's present, it feels like a BMW. So if that's what you're after, no issues with the one series i would also say that if you opt for a model like this which is one of the later mark ii one series um, it still feels really modern inside steering wheel aside uh, but in terms of we've got in this vehicle we've got the kind of the digital dials we've got the nice clear screen we've got bmw's great iDrive infotainment system um, the the layout the buttons Everything just feels very modern. So although this is a used car, it doesn't feel like an older car, if that makes sense. This really does feel like um, it's almost a brand new car. There's no squeaks and rattles. It's really, as I said, really solid. And it just, it doesn't feel like an older car at all. If you don't want a diesel, but you want a decent blend of performance and economy, then the 1.5 litre petrol engine that's in this 118i really does do the job it's not the fastest in the world um, and it's not the most economical compared to the diesels obviously you'll get much higher efficiency in a 118d for example than in this but it's efficient enough and it's sprightly enough to do the job i think you do you don't have to go for a diesel necessarily i think you could get away with the petrol if you still wanted efficiency in terms of driving dynamics i would say the one series is a really good all-rounder it drives like a BMW should, so it's nicely weighted with that rear wheel drive sensation as well. It's good fun when there's some twisty bits. You can definitely um, enjoy driving, shall we say? 
Um, I think it's also, because of the size, it's not the, the biggest hatch, so it's very maneuverable. It's, it's very easy to place on the road. There's no problem if you're in traffic or if you're in a car park or something like that. It's really easy to drive in those situations. And although this is an SE, this actually has the optional sat nav and parking sensors. So I think you'd still want parking sensors. I really do think on a car like this, they should be standard. So if you're looking at an SE model, I would definitely recommend trying to find one that's got the sat nav and the parking sensors. It just seems silly to me that they're not not standard and then when you get to a dual carriageway or a motorway it's a very pleasant place to be it cruises along very nicely it's very quiet on the go and it feels very kind of planted so do i think that you should be looking at a one series if you are doing lots of family trips over long distances probably not because although it is bigger than the predecessor it's not huge, there are bigger cars within the class with more space. I mean, I, th I feel like you'd have more space in the Volkswagen Golf, for example. But I think if you are a couple, or you're single, or it's, you've got another car, which is the family car, for example, and this is your commuter car, then I think you really could say, yeah, I could do considerable miles in the one series. Um, it would really stand up to that. As an everyday run-around family car, could you get away with it? Yes, you could. Once again, if you're a bit shorter than me, then I think you could get away with having a couple of car seats behind you um, and using it for the school run and dip into the shops and that kind of stuff. So I think in terms of family hatch, it really fulfills the brief and it fulfills the brief in a very BMW way. And if, like me, you like BMWs, well, that's a good thing. If you are after a premium family hatchback well you've got a few choices alongside the one series you've got the mercedes a-class and also the audi a3 now why would you opt for the one series over those two cars basically it's going to come down to driving experience if you're after the car in the class that offers the most dynamic driving experience and has rear wheel drive this is your car of course you're going to be compromised slightly on practicality and interior space and also you're going to have the kind of middling boot in the class. But what you are going to have is the best driving car of the lot. Thanks for watching this need to know video on the Mark II BMW 1 Series. If you enjoyed the video, please give us a like. Don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell icon so that you are notified every time we release a video. Let us know what you think of the 1 Series. Would you opt for this or would you opt for something like the Merc A-Class? Or actually, would you say, no, a Golf does everything I need?